Why do you want to be when you grow up, Olivia? Um, an astronaut. I want to be a fashion designer. A basketball player. I want to be an actor. A doctor. A teacher. A chef. An artist. What do you want to be when you grow up? A mermaid. <laughs> do you know what a computer programmer is? Yeah, no. No? Mm, no. I think it's something that has codes and is able to decode a mystery. I think that they... Um, wait, what? Computer programmer? No. Nowadays, just about everything requires some form of programming. So, what is it? Programming is basically explaining to a computer what you want it to do for you. When you're programming, you're teaching possibly the stupidest thing in the entire universe, a computer, how to do something. Programming is one of the only things in the world that, that you can do where you can sit down and just make something completely new from scratch, you know, whatever, whatever you want. It's really not unlike kind of playing an instrument or something, or, 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 you know, or playing a sport. It starts out being very intimidating, but you kind of get the hang of it over time. Coding is something that can be learned, and um, I know it can be intimidating. A lot of things are intimidating, but, uh, you know, what isn't? A lot of the coding that people do is actually fairly simple. Um, it's, it's more about the process of breaking down problems than, uh, you know, sort of coming up with complicated algorithms as people traditionally think about it. Well, if it's fairly simple, why aren't there more of us doing it? Over the next 10 years, there will be 1.4 million jobs in computer science, and only about 400,000 grads qualified for those jobs. That's a shortage of a million people. So how do you start? I was obsessed with uh, maps when I, was a, when I was a kid, and cities specifically. Uh, so I taught myself how to program. I had a very clear goal of what I wanted to do, which is to see a map of the city on my screen and, and play with it, put things on the map, move things around the map, see what was happening in the city, how it worked, how it lived, how it breathed. The best early thing was actually using software to decide when the classes in my school would meet, and that put me in a position to decide which girls were in my class. The first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color, or how old are you? I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. The first time I actually had something come up and say, hello world, and it, the, I made a computer do that, it was just astonishing. When I finally learned a little bit of programming, that, that blank wall resolved into a bunch of doors, and you open them, and finally you start to open enough doors that the light comes in. And to me, a, a finished program is like a structure filled with light. All the corners are illuminated. You understand the structure of it. It's a really serene feeling to have completed that.